let's talk rates of interest. And especially, let's talk about this one, the effective rate of interest, as opposed to the rate they charge you, as opposed to the comparison rate that they might tell you about. So why do we talk about effective rate? Well, let's have a look. I'm going to borrow $100,000, right? And I'm going to borrow it at 5%. So I am going to pay $5,000 a year in interest. But on top of that, the bank are going to charge me, say, a fee of $1,000 on top of the interest that they charge me in order to service that loan. So here I go, I'm adding $1,000 to there. So my total cost for this particular facility is actually 6%. My effective rate is not the same as the published rate when I take into account all the costs involved. So if I'm doing that on, so that's, that's an annual fee, I can see what it would do there. Imagine then if I take a fixed loan, right, I've got my fee on top of that and I may have my LMI on top of that. That would push my effective rate up even higher. When we're looking at comparing apples with apples, we need to make sure that all the apples are in the basket. Effective rate of interest, something you should ask a broker or your lender what the effective rate is or what, if they won't tell you what the effective rate is, make sure that you get all the costs involved so that you can come up with a number that tells you whether your investment is generating you the return that you think you should be making.